Clearly, the digital economy of today is demanding, complex, and challenging. Yet it also presents the greatest opportunities for those lean, ready, and purpose-driven to succeed. Whether established company or startup, entrepreneur or professional individual, the critical need today is what it has always been, but even more so than ever before. You must eliminate defects. Overproduction, waiting, non-utilized talent, underused transportation assets, inventory glut, and, well, downtime. Okay, you say, that would be great, but how? Fixing or better yet avoiding these defects is, well, impossible. Greetings, everyone, and welcome from the Technology Association of Georgia. It's July 31st, 2015, and this is Tech Talk. I'm your host, Frank Baia. Lean, that's what we're tech talking about, lean, as in Lean Six Sigma. And the answer to the question of what is the biggest challenge companies throughout Georgia are facing in this digital economy. Up to the Tech Talk, Peter Sherman, partner at Riverwood Associates. Peter has been successfully leading process improvement programs within service and manufacturing organizations for more than two decades. He began his career in quality working in Japan as a visiting MIT scholar. In 86, he worked with Dr. Edwards Deming, the noted American quality expert, and learned Japanese quality practices. Later, Peter was a master black belt with AT&T, and from 2010 to 2014, he served as Director of Process Excellence at Cbeon Communications, a $500 million publicly traded telecommunications company based right here in Atlanta, where he implemented Cbeon's Lean Six Sigma program. Riverwood Associates, an operational excellence training and consulting firm that helps individuals and organizations improve their levels of performance, are industry leaders in Lean Six Sigma certification training as well as hands-on process improvement consulting and work in a wide variety of industries, including manufacturing, distribution, healthcare, technology, professional services, and many others. Looking to streamline operations, improve margins, increase customer satisfaction, and just outright do better at solving problems? Who isn't? This is a tech talk for you, and it's all about a proven system approach that ensures success and maximize ROI. Up to the tech talk, former lead instructor of Emory University's Six Sigma program in Atlanta and certified Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt Riverwood Associates partner, Peter Sherman. This edition of Tech Talk is brought to you by Globalspeak.com, new media consultants, corporate video and audio communications, video and audio production and distribution, live and virtual event production. Tag TV and Tag Radio is a service of Globalspeak.com, creatively delivering powerful marketing, video, and audio solutions. Peter, welcome to Tech Talk. Thank you so much. Well, I think, you know, one of the challenges of today, they often say we're in information overload. There's too much data, too much information, and now we've progressed from structured and unstructured data all the way through to analytics, and now we're into predictive analytics and even interoperability where there's uh, convergence sharing going on. I know Sig Sigma has been around for a little bit. I'm thinking back in as early as 86, and I'm not positive, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it came out of Motorola, but... Um, I would think that it's more relevant today than it's ever been, so we're going to have a great opportunity to explore that with you. Let's start with uh, uh, probably the most obvious question, and that's the biggest challenge you see that companies throughout Georgia are facing today. I mean, I'm talking obviously about skilled workers and problem solvers and those kind of things, but maybe give us a, a little bit of your perspective on that. Well, Frank, you've probably heard about this skills gap that is affecting so many American businesses, uh, whether it's Georgia or national. Mm -hmm large or small, our high schools and colleges may not be teaching the right skills that these businesses need. The most common theme that we hear from Georgia companies, and these include technology firms, manufacturers, logistics companies, hospitals and service, is the skills gap among workers. And specifically, what we're seeing is lack of critical thinking and communication skills. Mm. For example, people who can define a problem, analyze it for root causes, and solve it permanently, and at the same time, being able to communicate and articulate that story in an effective way. So for the past two years, 
Scott Luton, my business partner, and I have been building armies of problem solvers across Georgia and the Southeast. We teach people, and this includes the frontline management and the executives, how to think critically, analytically, independently, so they can make the best decisions. And the way we're doing it is through this methodology called Lean Six Sigma. Mm. Well, I, you know, without question, I think that you hit the ball out of the park in terms of what obviously is the crucial problem because it's so fundamental, and yet uh, clearly there's no real solution to it. I was thinking in terms of, of my I have limited background on Six, six, six Sigma, but I know I was thinking with uh, uh, some of it is, is, has to do with belts, and I was thinking that in many cases if a lot of the young kids were not going to uh, karate classes to get a black belt, they might be better off getting a a green belt or something like that that might teach them some fundamentals that they really, not to knock um, karate or something like it as a sport, but to say that there may be some more important things to their career path. Let's talk a little bit about that from a high-level standpoint. Um, Six Sigma, what it is, how many companies, uh, how a company can benefit from it, and maybe just flat out, how does it work? Very good question. Uh, When you think about Lean Six Sigma, it's probably the most successful methodology for improving productivity, reducing waste, and improving quality. The lean of Lean Six Sigma comes from Toyota manufacturing, and it's about creating value in the customer's eyes by simplifying and streamlining businesses. The Six Sigma comes from Motorola, as you said earlier, and is about perfecting processes, for example, reducing those defects and making that customer experience very, very consistent. Together, they form a very powerful approach to improving the bottom line, growing the top line, and maybe the most important, enhancing that customer experience. Hmm. Now, I mentioned belts. I know a little bit about that. I've certainly heard a lot about them. Go into what are the different types of belts that we've heard of. Yes, the different color belts refer to the different levels of certification. The yellow belt, that offers a great starting point for individuals, organizations who are new to Lean Six Sigma. Uh, Generally, this is a one-day type of program. The focus is on the fundamental tools and techniques. The green belt is probably the most popular and practical intermediate level of training. And generally, this is um, about a week of training, much more hands-on to tackle the most common business problems. And finally, the black belt is that highest level of certification. Uh, It requires a real commitment uh, of training and generally the completion of a project. So those are those colors of the belts that you mentioned. Now, uh, and I'm I'm fascinated because I certainly was aware of the Motorola aspect of it, and and I'm not sure that I've heard a lot about the lean aspect, although I think I've heard something about it. I guess a lot of us, especially our listening, a lot of in our listening audience, are probably going to think it, that the whole Six Sigma is based on that Motorola process, and that it's really about large manufacturers and lots of statistics. Uh, does it really apply to today's small business and say a technology firm or even healthcare? That's a fair question. You know, Lean Six Sigma may have originated in manufacturing, but the principles apply equally to any business, large or small. So aside from these world-class companies that you hear about, uh, Amazon, maybe Bank of America, Coca-Cola, even companies like Google and Starbucks, those are the name brand world-class organizations that use it. Think of local technology firms like Birch Communications here in Atlanta or Mm -hmm. Fiserv and even McKesson. Or think of a small company in healthcare billing in Augusta called Medac, or even the American Cancer Society, a nonprofit organization, Hmm. or even a hospital out in rural Savannah called Effingham Hospital. All of these companies have one thing in common. At one point or another, they've all hit the wall, and the wall takes on different forms. The wall could be new regulations like we're seeing in healthcare with the Affordable Care Act. It might mean a major business transformation, a 
consolidating things, offices. It could be cash flow that's tied up in inventory or receivables. Or sometimes it means just not being able to provide that same level of quality and personal customer service when you first started out in business, when you were small. Regardless of all those walls, these are the signals that the processes that got you where you are today are probably insufficient to get you where you want to go tomorrow. And there's a need for to think differently about how to operate the business. And this is where Lean Six Sigma can come in and be of great value. Well, the, the proof of concept is in the results without any question. The impact that a lot of these uh, pro this particular program has had now over decades and certainly the new lean component to it being ap absolutely necessary for this particular time in this particular market. I guess now as you're talking, I, w I was thinking that you know there's an Eastern philosophy that says the, uh, uh, the solution is simple. It's the implementation that's hard. And I'm thinking, oh, no, is this another one of these certificate training things where we're going to be sitting around for hours at a time listening to some lecture? And I'm hoping that's not the case, but maybe tell us a little bit, how does your training format work and what's the approach? Okay. Well, you're, you're right. Uh, training can be uh, perceived in a, uh, a negative context. We found that live instructor-led in-class training creates the best environment for learning. It just allows for a more deeper level of conversations and sharing of ideas. So our training format is designed for adult learners, and adults learn best by doing. So how it works is we'll explain a concept, then we'll demonstrate it, and then we'll have the participants practice with exercises, individual and team exercises. Mm -hmm. Now the exercises are totally discovery driven. And that tends to bring out the best thinking in people. The exercises are designed around a theme that anyone can relate to, such as uh, the recruiting process that affects any type of business. Or how does a restaurant deliver a meal? When the students complete that exercise, they'll give a short readout to the class and have some dialogue with their classmates. This fosters that communication and leadership skills to build the confidence. And that, in short, is how our training format has been designed, and it seems to work very well. Well, it sounds that it's almost a, a, a practice of the reality, and, and uh, it would seem like uh, obviously doing it, as you point out, uh, uh, gives you a sense of confidence and an idea of exactly what you're going to expect in, in terms of implementation, but obviously outcomes as well. I'm thinking uh, clearly I can see where this has got a pretty strong benefit, say, for a business. Um, from your perspective, individual benefit, does this type of certification training really help an individual? Clearly it does. And a couple of reasons come to mind of how it would benefit the individual. First and foremost, you will learn some very practical skills to advance your career. These skills are what we call life skills problem solving, basic analytics, deductive reasoning. Lean Six Sigma is, certification is rapidly becoming a prerequisite, in fact, for many jobs. Secondly, you'll be able to have an immediate impact in your job. And it's important to think of Lean Six Sigma, Six Sigma as an enabler for you to drive the results in your business. And in the process, you'll be finding that you're becoming a more valuable member of your organization. Finally, you will be able to maximize your earning potential. The certification is recognized by industry. And for these reasons above, it basically is very, very compelling for folks to take a look at it to complement their previous skills, whether it's from a bachelor's degree or other type of um, certification. It's all about competitive edge without a question, and anything more that you can add to what you're already bringing to the table has got to be a benefit. And when you bring something is, you know, one of the things an entrepreneur often says is that if it doesn't save me money or make me money, I'm not really interested. Someone that comes with this kind of certification training not only comes but already is in place is going to show um, to any employer not only the results of the training but the commitment on his part to do it or her part to do a better job. And then, as you're pointing out, uh, 
uh, with the challenge that's represented by recruitment and the uh, difficulty in interviewing and making a difference between one particular person or another, something like this could obviously be a, a decision maker. Well, um, P Peter, I th uh, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us for a few minutes. But before we close, are, are there any actionables? Is there some, you know, beyond the idea of learning a lot about Lean Six, Six, Six Sigma, um, what about action? Is there something I can actually get involved in? Yes, certainly. In fact, there are two important follow-up events I wanted to share with our audience. Number one, we are holding the next Lean Six Sigma Greenbelt in Atlanta in early November, and we're proud to be partnering with TAG, our sponsor, and Birch Communications, who will be hosting the event. Uh, TAG members receive a $500 discount for admission. The second item is, if you'd like to understand a little bit more about Lean Six Sigma, we encourage you to attend our free upcoming webinar called Lean Six Sigma Demystified. It's a one-hour webinar, and we'll describe this methodology in more detail, how companies are benefiting, and how it works. That webinar will be on September 17th at 11 a.m. Now, the details of all these training and webinar are on the TAG website under the training section and under Riverwood Associates' website. Frank, I would like to thank you very much for taking time out today to talk about this topic of Lean Six Sigma. Peter, thank you for joining us today on Tech Talk. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye.